Hello everyone, welcome to NetTechies. Today's video we will be focusing on how to install monitoring server for your CCNA or CCNP labs or you're someone who just want to have some sort of a monitoring system so you can monitor your uh, servers and your routers what's happening and that will be through the syslog or snmp and uh, even in ccna or ccnp you need to have uh, some sort of a software that you can use to lab your uh, snmp and you know get better at it so we'll try to keep the video short but uh, if you have any questions and if you believe i was too fast somewhere uh, you know just post in your comments and i'll try to answer your uh, question okay so first of all let me open the browser here so first of all you will go to this website and uh, you will download the libranms ubuntu ova file this is the vmware file and uh, as of now uh, 2024 march this is the latest version available you can click here and it will just start uh, downloading the file i already have the downloaded file so you just need to basically create a new vm here so you basically click on file you know open and uh, you know open the machine and it will ask you a couple of questions then you follow those and when it's booting up very first time it will take a couple of seconds but now my machine is completely up and running this is the ip address of it and uh, i'm using the network in the bridge mode okay so i get the same ip as my pnet lab one, this is 1.13 this is uh, 1.13 i think i need to reboot it uh, Okay, while that's rebooting, um, this is the important website you need to have. I'll paste this link in the description of the video. Once the VM is running up and running, this is the password when you log into the web GUI and this is the password for your SSH stuff if you want to SSH into the uh, device for some reason, okay? So I already have this virtual machine up and running in my different browser. Uh, the IP is 1.13, okay? And this is the screen that you will see once you uh, install it. Uh, it's a fresh out of the box of VM. Okay. Currently, when you go to the devices, go to all devices, you do not have any devices beside, uh, you know, the host itself. It's running on the VMware that you see. Okay. And uh, let's see if the peanut lab is up. Okay. So this is the IP 1.14 and we are 1.13. So let's refresh it. Okay, so the lab is up and running and the IP address is 1.13 of uh, LibreNMS. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to connect the router first. I'm going to turn on the router. I right click, choose the network and we want to choose the management cloud. And let's give it name syslog server and also put LibreNMS for clarification. Liber animals and the icon we want to have something that looks like a server this will do the job and click ok okay so now you connect the wire to the gigabit interface okay it's turning on and okay this is all set so I'm just going to pause the video for now Okay, so the device is online. Okay, the Cisco router is online. And we do have already IP address. So I'll show you show IP interface brief on the gigabit 0 slash 0, 1.7. And uh, the IP address of the Libre NMS, as you already know, is on 1.13. So let's just try to ping the uh, Libre NMS. Let me close that. Okay, so let's try to ping the 1.13 from our router. 1.61.13. Okay, we can communicate. Let me turn off the debugging. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I think I already have uh, the show running config include logging. I already have the logging enabled for the uh, host, but let me undo that. So the command is, as you know, you enter no in front of anything and it will undo the uh, logging, okay? Okay, so what we have to do here is uh, first we go to the liver NMS, 
this is the home page once you uh, have that uh, installed freshly click on add a device and a host name you can either give it a host name or IP address so what we are going to do is we are going to give it a host name um, let me put small case C Cisco and what else you want to do is let me SSH into it and check the DNS records of the server Libra NMS okay it's a capital C let me change that real quick sudo can we ping Cisco yes we can ping Cisco okay so now you no longer need to provide the IP address you can just use the host name that will be uh, you know more human readable and click on add a device it will take a couple of seconds okay the device is added the device IP change now you have to go to the logs and then you have to click on syslog now when you click on syslog from this page I think there is some sort of a bug which is appending HTTP into the URL so I'm just going to simply remove that and we just have to wait until the NMS developers they fix the issue okay so now we are on a syslog page of the device and we just have to configure the router to send syslog messages so logging host and if we hit the question mark it's expecting us to provide the IP address which is 1.13 and then logging trap uh, we want to send a lot of logs so let's start it debugging and click on end okay now I don't know how long the libraness will take to show this log sometimes it's really quick but uh, right now we do not see anything uh, let's go to the overview okay let's stay on this page for now and on the other side I'm just going to make this smaller we're going to TCP dump port okay and on the other hand on the Cisco let's try to generate a send log uh, message we want to send I think uh, level 7 which is debug and hello there okay as soon as we sent the hello there message we see the message from the Cisco this is the source port and this is the destination 100 uh, 1.13 uh, so the message is received I don't know how long the liver NMS will take to show that uh, message uh, same bug is bugging us okay so for some reason it's not showing here okay okay so now what I did is I ran the validate.php file I'll show you when you go to the opt.libranms there's a file when you run that validate.php it will show everything okay so if I do ls.a I'll show you what's in here okay so you can expect to see these files or oh, that belongs to libranms okay and uh, there's a one more file it's called polar dot php and you have to specify host that you want to pull and click all okay so this will go actively pull the devices for SNMP but let's see if that does anything for syslog send log and one hey okay okay now we did receive the log from Cisco device okay let's see the liberal NMS is showing that okay so as you can see finally we received the message hey thank you so much for watching the video I'll be uh, creating some more videos in the future whether that'll be networking or uh, system administration so stay tuned please subscribe my channel thank